on a submission before the call came through, we were talking about the girls with regards to the yeah. STEM education. Yeah. If you yeah. can yeah. finish yeah. that. that, that, that if, at the tertiary level, we don't have more females um, mm. uh, running over there. Uh, so uh, the free SHS, uh, free SHS has mm. also come to change the narrative. There are most of the girls who, for some reason, could not progress and now getting the opportunity to progress to the highest level. Mm. So that tells us that we are, we are getting there, but just that it's a process, a gradual thing. Mm. You can't just use a day or a week or a month to accomplish what you intend doing. It takes mm. some time, but we'll get there. Let's talk about those in the rural areas. How do, we, how do you intend to get them on board? In terms of? Um, with all these things that you have said, basically, it's in the urban areas for no, STEM no, education the urban, and urban areas. That. Have you been to DRC before? Have you been to no. Pasempe? Yeah, it's not an urban area. Mm. Uh, yeah, most of them. Now, we've, yeah, we, we, the, if you go to the DRC and uh, um, uh, this area, Awaso, mm. the DRC one is a community day school, day school. started by the Destu the Mahama government. So we have converted into a STEM academy. Mm. Uh, so. Those people within that enclave would also get opportunity to enroll there, learn about science, technology, engineering, mm. and mathematics. So it's not only in the cities <laughs> that we this are uh, trying, uh, putting up all this infrastructure. No, it's it cuts across. It's a mm. presentation thing that the Minister of Education, ably led by Dr. Yao is, is is doing. Right. So what are the some of the measures you're putting in place to make sure that this um, STEM education works perfectly? Well, it's all about having now everything that is going on at the Ministry of the is not being done out of nothing. Nothing. Out of yeah. We have an education strategy plan that mm. we follow through. We started from 2018. It has been there. The, the Kofor's time, Mohammed's time, Moses' time. It started from there. So now we have an education strategy plan spanning from 2018 to 2030. So at the point that we tease out some of the uh, the, the, the issues or some of the key things that we are mm. supposed to uh, do in order to ensure that we fulfill that uh, blueprint that we've set ourselves to accomplish. Right. Uh, let's talk about um, the free SHS policy with regards to feeding. Yeah. Um, has the issue been resolved now? Yeah, yeah, it's been resolved. Um, I think, uh, as I indicated, at a point, mm -hmm. most of the things, like you talk about milk, mm. you talk about macro, mm -hmm. sugar. Uh, tin tomatoes, the local production is not enough. So we do import a lot. So the importers and the, our suppliers, mm -hmm. uh, because they have contract with the buffer stock, they are also even at getting profits because no entrepreneur who at the end of the day go into business and uh, they expect to incur unnecessary loss. No, you must also benefit to some extent. Mm. And you must break even. So uh, with the uh, inflationary rates, that we have, it became a bit demotivating for some of the suppliers to continue doing the supply. So that has brought us this far. But mm. now we have been able to resolve the, the challenge that has to do with the feeding. Uh, we have what you call two weeks intervention, where we do as soon as the school uh, runs out of a certain commodity or a certain consumer, we then quickly we step in. Because we, the buffer stock supplies 70% of it, the 30% perishables, uh, uh, money is also given to the headmaster, the head mis uh, mistresses, mm. to ensure that they also do the basic thing within their vicinity to ensure that the students are given breakfast, uh, 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 mm. lunch, and supper. Right, but are you aware there's something called special feeding in some of the schools? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. You are telling for the first time. Uh, what is it about? Where the students don't get food when they get to the dining hall, so probably they will have to um, require the services of. Uh, maybe those students, their taste <laughs> might not have been met. That is why they try to also sneak out <laughs> to go and buy something in addition to what is supplied to them at the schools. Because no school has complained officially that they mm. don't have sugar or rice or, or maize. No. Mm. And so, what the food that you take in the house may not be the same food being cooked for you in mm -hmm. the school. So. It happened to us when we were at the <laughs> senior high school that at a point in time, maybe the afternoon food, a certain type of food, you may not have that uh, inner joy any time you're asked to go and take it. So mm. at a point, you sneak out maybe some uh, canteen is somewhere, you go and buy something to add to what we do. Mm. So it, 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 it's, it's normal. It's normal, but we don't have any uh, validated or uh, official position yeah. that students have 
that uh, thing that we are talking mm. about. It's, it's, it's I not. see. But are the schools getting enough? Yeah, they're sisters. getting enough. They're getting enough. Mm. They're getting enough. Yes, we do admit that we sometimes have some challenges as to the regular flow or supply of, 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 of food items to some of your schools. Mm. Uh, so because sometimes you have a school that is a bit distant from the regional capital. So the supplier may not, because that school, uh, maybe a term would need uh, seven bucks of rice. Mm. So the supplier will also look at the distance, the cost of transportation to that place. And I'm telling you, they, they will decide not to <laughs> supply uh, to that school at all. So we do have certain challenges, but uh, mm. when they come out, we try to resolve them within as short as possible time. But you made mention of the fact that you do not supply to um, such schools at all, yeah. um, schools in rural areas where the suppliers cannot go. No, in I don't cases, say, uh, mm -hmm. no, I say we don't supply that sometimes some mm -hmm. of the suppliers, right. they feel reluctant mm -hmm. that within a certain enclave, we have a few schools. Right. And the school may not, at the time that mm -hmm. supply went to a certain school, mm -hmm. that school was having everything mm -hmm. in abundance. Now the supplier came to the regional capital mm -hmm. and the school called the supplier after a week or months that, oh, we are we run out of sugar, so we need three packs of sugar. Mm -hmm. So imagine the cost implications. So sometimes they also vary. Uh, so we do have such challenges, but when they come, uh, the regional buffer stock directors also step in to ensure that mm. those schools are, are given what is needed. So in cases where their food staff is, is finished, what happens to them if the supplier does not get to them? Well, uh, the headmasters and the headmistresses, they have a common platform with mm. the regional uh, director of free SHS right. and that of buffer stock. So mm. as soon as the school is being getting uh, they, their rice is getting, it's about getting finished. Then they quickly call the buffer stock director. Oh, this and this and this. we don't have this. So can you uh, supply us this? Supply us this. So they do, they do, they do that uh, engagement to ensure that the, the school doesn't get to the point where it is so difficult for them to get even a breakfast mm. or lunch or supper. Right. Let's talk about TV. Yeah. Are we making some progress? Yeah. It's First of all. Explain, explain what it's it's all about yeah. before we even come down to yeah, the policy. technical itself. vocational education mm. training. Right. Now, uh, we are bringing most of the issue, most of the uh, success story from Germany. Mm. That they are able to transform their country, they are able to change their, their fortunes as a result of taking a vocational training that mm. is offered to their teaming population or teaming children when they enroll in their schools. Before the introduction of, no, no, as soon as the phrase was introduced, we're having some schools, privately, privately owned schools. Right. Uh, I don't know whether you have some in mind, but they mm -hmm. were under different ministries. Mm -hmm. So there's an act, Act 1049, that all the schools scattered under the various ministries have all brought under the umbrella of Tibet service. Mm -hmm. Just like we have Ghana Education Service. So right. we have Tibet service. Uh, we, we have a director general and two deputy director generals. Mm. Now, they were having about less than 30 or so schools. But last year, last academic year, mm. we had 139 schools all being roped under the free status policy. Okay. So any child who decides to enroll in any of the schools is also attached to the packages that are uh, that, that, that is already for those uh, really in the grammar of the, the, those who started with the phrases. Because we started with less than 700 schools. Now the schools have doubled to 911. Right. 911, yeah. Combined the, the, uh, the grammar schools, SHS technical schools, and technical vocational schools. So you have 212 technical vocational training institutes mm. that are also benefiting from free SHS package. Mm. But are we, are we making some, some progress? Yeah, exactly. No, it's interesting to note that mm. those who uh, decide or selected uh, to enroll in the Technical Vocational Training Institute, uh, we had more than 100% number. Right. Yeah. Close to 40,000, 50,000 mm. selecting to, to enroll in, 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 in those uh, Technical Vocational Institutes. Mm. That, uh, people have the edge. Recently, I had a, uh, I had a chat with a certain lady, and she was telling me, well, my world has decided that no, he can't continue with the school because the grammar course is, is, is a bit uh, <laughs> alien to him. So uh, given the opportunity, you would like to enroll in any of the technical vocational institutes. 
So I've just told her that they should just relax and I will create the opportunity uh, for him to uh, go through the process so that the child will also enroll in all the schools. Right. Do you